nilikonjeka kwa ukonjo wa kalasa. Nikacharibu kutumia dawa za kienyeji. Hakuna. Hata zingine karibu kuniua. Nikaenda hospitali, nikapewa dawa ya malaria, nikatipiwa kuna. Kuna watoto tisa. Kati hii watoto tisa, wanne ndio wamepata kalasa. Sasa kati hii watoto nne, mmoja ameenda, ameaga. Visceral leishmaniasis, also known as Kalazar, is a potentially fatal neglected disease with a worldwide distribution in Asia, East Africa, South America and the Mediterranean region. Visceral leishmaniasis persists today in poor, remote and in certain politically unstable areas resulting in about 20 to 30,000 deaths annually. The highest burden of visceral leishmaniasis worldwide is in Eastern Africa, with Ethiopia, South Sudan, Sudan and Somalia being part of the six countries representing 91% of the overall burden. Many health facilities in the endemic areas lack the expertise and equipment to diagnose and treat. In 2003, the Leishmaniasis East Africa platform, LEAP, was formed with a mandate to build the capacity for clinical trials and deliver better treatments for Leishmaniasis patients. This is um, a group of scientists together with institutions that came together and said, look, we need to work together. What is it that we need? Uh, what is lacking in terms of the treatment for patients for leishmaniasis? So as African researchers, clinicians, uh, backed by DNDI, uh, that entity was set up to do clinical research, specifically clinical trials. LEAP draws its members from the endemic countries of East Africa, mainly Ethiopia, Kenya, Sudan and Uganda. Working with academic and research institutions, governments and drug regulatory authorities, LEAP has managed to conduct over 10 clinical trials and set the standards for good research practices. The first trial that we did, we, we took uh, SSG and paromomycin. So we, we combined the two and treated the patients for 17 days in a, a phase three clinical trial where we are comparing it with the standard. And we were able to show that this short course for 17 days of the two drugs is as good as the 30-day single treatment. And WHO recommended to countries that this is the first line treatment for Kalaza. We have now started our uh, studies with in the oral drug. And after one study done in children in Uganda and Kenya, we learned how to treat the children better. We moved from 56% uh, efficacy rate to 90%. In Ethiopia, we have a very peculiar problem, and it is the co-infection with HIV. We have then done two clinical trials. Uh, so now we think that we have a combination treatment which uses two drugs called Ambison and Miltofosin, and then subsequently introduce what we call a secondary prophylaxis treatment, and that suppresses parasitemia, and then you can prolong the life expectancy of patients. These trials were conducted in various health centres within the region, leaving lasting impacts in the institutions and their staff. When LEAP was created, some of the sites had never done a clinical trial. And uh, in some of the countries, we, need, we did, had to build treatment sites because the patients were being treated in a, a tent. Amodad was a dying centre, so the support given to Amodad, continued support, given to Amoda to build the capacity to be able to treat patients at international level and research in such a remote area. We have hundreds of you know, young, young professionals trained in methodologies of research, uh, clinical research, good clinical practice, good laboratory practice. That's really a, already a critical mass for doing some clinical research in the country, not just leishmaniasis, but also for, you know, in other diseases. Initially, we, were, we had not organized our lab the facility organization. So from that training, we came in knowledge and we came and reorganized our lab. To achieve this, LEAP has had to overcome challenges ranging from poor infrastructure to differences in culture 
and practice. We started off with uh, different regulatory environments. We had issues to do with culture. We had issues to do with uh, dif uh, varying degrees in terms of knowledge. To get the staff, people who have to go and monitor these studies, the doctors who have to go and stay there and work there, making them on the mission of and the vision. The terrain was hard, but the resilience of the people was great. We managed to set so many ideas together, develop protocols, harmonize regulations, harmonize guidelines. The presence of LEAP has not only guaranteed better treatments and good research practices, but also brought together scientists from diverse backgrounds, creating the critical mass needed to influence government policies. Going forward, LEAP is hoping to broaden their scope of work through what is now termed as LEAP 2.0. So the feature of LEAP is to understand the epidemiology, to have better drugs that can be given, you know, in shorter period of time to respond to outbreaks. We are looking into other areas of leishmaniasis, uh, areas such as PKDL, CL, uh, expanding into more geographical uh, areas. I told Mutushwa, Quiz, God, Nafo, Alhamdulillah, Adunna, Lai, Gina. Jibna, Akat Fatara, Rajana, Lumogabala, Talalo, Natija Sema, Taina Rajana, Okai, Hamdelilla, Gitil Gitli. Seeing that uh, LEAP has been able to achieve what we have in the last 13 years, then there's hope. There's hope for Kalaza patients. And as we open our doors and invite them to come and collaborate with us, because we realize that uh, together I think we can do much more.